Drinking mouth bottles Make me lean a lot Bands in my pockets Make me lean a lot Models by my s- Why would you hit a lion? Who be giving y'all niggas the strength to hit animals like this? These not no regular animals either. No cat, dog, but wild animals. What motivated this nigga to slap this lion in the forehead like that? Hey, bro, what the hell is wrong with you? That's borderline stupid. I don't give a damn how much of a bond you and a lion have together. Y'all could have been in a damn circus together. It's a lion, nigga. You not. He's going to react how it's going to react. And you just going to put your life in jeopardy because of how he reacted. Because how you touched him. You touched him in the wrong way. What you expect? Like, first of all, it's a male lion. Back your horny ass up away from me. Why you got this long ass green pole near my ass? Get away from me. That's how I feel if I was the lion. Then on top of you just sitting here caressing me, I don't want to be near you. You are a human. Where's my wife at? Where are my kids? That's how I feel if I was a lion. Where's Simba at? Where's the rest of the Lion King? Where's Scar at? I don't even fuck with Scar, but I, I'll fuck with him before I fuck with you. I think I know what happened to you. Probably whispered some gay shit in his ear, in his right ear. I seen that. Yeah, I know you're the king of the jungle, but let me put this king in your jungle. And that lion was about to bite the shit out you. Don't say nothing like that to a lion. Let alone be that close to it anyway. Y'all just, y'all borderline stupid. Like, it's it's up here. I'm just going to assume this your first cousin. Because ain't no way people just out here casually slapping the shit out of wild animals like this. No, sir. That must be a family tradition or some, some shit that run in the DNA. Because we would never, uh, never, mm-mm. Hey, good afternoon, people. Happy Friday. This video right here is a squad of police officers or SWAT team, whatever you want to call them trying to get into the front door of obviously a criminal and the shit's not working out. This is actually a physical representation of Sally Mae trying to get into my savings account. Y'all not getting no loan repayments, all right? Y'all better wait it out. This also is a physical representation of the state and federal tax trying to get into the last bit of my paycheck. Motherfucker, get on. I started watching this video early. I'm like, they taking turns? Yeah, it's a wrap on that. Y'all might as well go home, pack it up, get back in the truck, go back to the station, and figure out what the fuck it is that y'all did wrong. And I feel like it's coming out there. First of all, that door is made out of the material the last little pig and three little pigs used against the big bad wolf. You are not getting into there whatsoever. This is not a turn job. One person's supposed to be beating the door down. The other two or three officers are supposed to be ready to rush in. Y'all sitting up here taking turns. Y'all done gave the criminal enough time to wake up, brush his teeth, get ready for work, make some breakfast, climb out the back window, climb back in the back window because he got his work keys and his name badge. It's okay though. I'm sure y'all didn't catch the criminal but y'all just gotta think smarter than that instead of trying to ram the door down y'all could have easily called your nigga who responsible for the door anyway the landlord hello if i'm the sergeant i'm gonna be on the phone with him i'm not about to have my squad out here wasting time trying to ram down this indestructible ass superman returns ass door yeah uh this is sergeant jackson uh me and my squad are out here at your apartment complex right now battling one of your doors uh i just wanted to know what material this uh this door made out of said the same material for the staircase to heaven okay i figured it was some indestructible shit like that i appreciate it we're gonna try to figure out another way maybe it's a back window or something we can uh climb through thank you so much absolutely wrap it up anybody got time for that wrap that shit up come back with a plan b this nigga door made out of thanos forehead hello i need to press charges right now no, nothing happened to me. Somebody was just murdered in front of me. No, no weapons involved either. Just the dumbass and the angry lady. Yes, ma'am. I go by action, A-C-T. Look, it don't even matter. This man was just executed in front of me. That's exactly what I would have been doing if I was at that school. He did not have to participate in that bullshit activity. Boy done died in front of all his friends. Trying to be cute. 
I know for a fact God locked him out of heaven for that. If he pressed charges, he the only one getting charged. Cause you're not supposed to let nobody hit you like that. But then again, you're not supposed to do no stupid shit like that. The first direction in school ever was keep your hands, feet, and other objects to your damn self. Nigga, you in high school and can't follow that. Now you hibernating in the cafeteria. Well, your ass better switch continents after that. Better be in Japan somewhere selling Jordans. Hold on for a second. Who's responsible for this shit right here? First of all, who left the vehicle in reverse like that? Terry? I don't even know what this shit is called, but that's not the point. Who's bold enough to hop on there and put it in park? Uh, you don't see too many niggas out there trying to do that now, do you? That's because we ain't been properly trained on how to actually park that shit when shit go wrong. Nigga, we watch shit like this happen from the break room because ain't no way in hell nobody taking accountability for that. Damn, I hope they stop it. Oh, no, nah, y'all better call TSA. I'm still on my 30. Nigga, I'm just now finding out how to put my car in neutral, let alone try to take this motherfucker off spin cycle. I will clock out first and go home. I know y'all see little dude in the back of the plane crouching. That's the driver. So y'all can't tell he did it? That nigga messed the whole vehicle up and ran to the back of the plane. His ride on the way right now. Hey, bro, what terminal you at? I would file a lawsuit, especially if I'm the nigga that brought all them canned foods to the airport. All my canned green beans, my baked beans, my sweet corn. All my shit on the floor, because niggas don't know how to operate a machine. Big shout out to Dora the Explorer for coming through with the forklift to keep that shit from hitting the plane. It shouldn't have took the maid from family guy to come through with a forklift because y'all was scared. It was like seven of y'all. All this technology and y'all couldn't stop this motherfucker from doing donuts. Ain't nobody have an app on their phone. Y'all couldn't press control or delete on nothing, just nothing. Okay. Look, look at the white man coming up with the beard on the side. That's the manager. You tell he's seen this shit before. He ain't running towards the situation. None of that. He walking slow and calm. You want to know why? That nigga about to fire everybody. Oh, you son of a bitch has got to go. Who's responsible? Hold on for a second, Popeyes. Bring your own bread. What? I am trying to make it out the hood. What do I look like participating in some ghetto gangster shit like that? Not your own bread. What I gotta bring next? My own baby chicken too? Feed it, play with it and shit. Wait for him to grow up in the lobby. Get all healthy and strong and shit so I can eat them. That's that ghetto shit the news be talking about. Not just locals. The whole world know about y'all ghetto acts, Popeyes. Nigga, we already see that y'all employees gotta have a master's degree in arguing. How y'all gonna pull this shit? I was just there the other day. I asked an employee for an extra pack of honey and he said, Shut the fuck up! And I had no clue why, so I asked the manager. I kid you not, the manager said, No, bitch! Don't even implement nothing like this. Don't, because the chicken said, sandwich is already gone. Bring your own bread. I hope this is a joke. That's like going to Steak and Shake ordering a steak burger meal and the cashier standing there like and you said a Sprite for the drink. Okay. So all you just gotta do is bring your own cow and we can get that order started for you. Like what type shit is that? And the crazy thing is niggas probably actually in Walmart right now watching this video in the bread aisle with two loaves in the front of their basket on their way to Popeyes. Got Popeyes in the GPS. As a loyal Chick-fil-A customer, Chick-fil-A would never. I'm telling y'all that and I told y'all that. Chick-fil-A never run out of bread. Never. They got their own bread tree in the kitchen just growing. We don't know how, but it's Chick-fil-A. They work miracles. Except on Sunday. Which has to be some Illuminati shit because I'm still clueless on why. First, we're going to start with seasoning our chicken. You know, make sure your chicken is nice and seasoned. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody eating that. Let me tell you why. For one, you only got two pieces of chicken right there anyway. Who the fuck you feeding? You and the dog? Ain't nobody eating that shit, Becky. For two, what the fuck did you season? Not that fucking chicken. You didn't season that shit. Bitch, what did you use? Frosted flake dust? The bacteria from your hands? I've never seen chicken be seasoned in milliseconds. Get your ass out of here. I'm reporting that video. Talking about cooking tips. Bitch, this is a health hazard. When you bite into the chicken, you supposed to feel your blood pressure rise at least 50%. Bitch, your blood pressure gonna drop when you bite into that shit. You might fuck around and have a heart attack from the shocking feeling of tasting some unseasoned ass chicken. My first question is, who the fuck cooked this? Talking about the next step. <gasps> The next step is to turn yourself in for this foolishness. Who the fuck told you to season the chicken like you scared? Who told you to season it with salt? Bitch, you don't just season it with regular salt. 
I counted 12 salt pieces. Get out of here. On the west side, all day getting money, so we stay fly. And you might see your bitch on the pass by, and she might turn around and say hi. You know your boy was a beast, I can get you most in the streets.